went to see this Pixu whom I found in a cave reciting the Fahawa King, Sa Dharma Pundarakajitra. I saw another man with golden colored rays. Mounted on a white elephant who, with joined palms, paid homage to the Pixu. When I approached, he disappeared. I then asked the Venerable One why the man with the rays had disappeared at my arrival. The Pixu answered. That is the Bodhisattva Pian Ki. This Bodhisattva has made the following vow. Each time someone recites the Sa Dharma Pundarakajitra, I will come on a white elephant to teach him. As I was reciting the Sa Dharma Pundarakajitra, the Bodhisattva Samantabhadra came in person. Note by Kumarajava. Pian Ki in the Fahawa King is called Pou Hine, Samantabhadra. C. Finally, in a certain country, there was a Pixu who recited the Amitofo King, Amitabha Buddhazutra. And the M. Oho Panjo Pol Lomi. When he was about to die, he said to his students. Here comes the Buddha Amitba with his great Sangha. His body shook, he took refuge and died at once. After his death, his students built a funeral pyre and burned him. The next day, among the ashes they discovered the Pixu's tongue which had not burned up. Because he had recited the Amitabha Buddhazutra, this Pixu had seen the Buddha Amitba come to him. Because he had recited the Prajnaparamitha, his tongue could not be burned. These are facts of the present day, and the sutras tell of many cases of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas appearing. Thus in many places there are people whose sins, stains, and bonds are light. They wholeheartedly invoke the Buddha. Their faith is pure and free of doubt. They will necessarily succeed in seeing the Buddha and their efforts will not be in vain. For all these reasons, we know that the Buddhas of the Ten Directions really exist. Sutra At that time, in that universe there was a Bodhisattva called Pou Ming. Sastra For the meaning of the word Bodhisattva see Chapter 8. Why is this Bodhisattva called Samantarasmi? Because his rays illumine all the universes ceaselessly. Sutra Seeing this great brilliance, this great trembling of the earth and the ordinary body of the Buddha, he went to the Buddha Ratnakara and said, Bhagavath, what are the causes and conditions for this great brilliance that lights up the universe, for this great trembling of the earth and the appearance of the body of the Buddha? Sastra for the trembling of the earth, the body of the Buddha and his brilliance, see Act V, above. Question The Bodhisattva Samantarasmi, the most venerable and the foremost of the Bodhisattvas, should himself know all that. Why does he question the Buddha on this subject? Answer Minus 1 Great as he is, the Bodhisattva Samantarasmi is incapable of knowing the wisdom and the miraculous power of the Buddha. It is like the moon whose light, great though it is, disappears at daybreak. This is why he asks the Buddha. 2. Moreover, the Bodhisattvas always want to see the Buddha and their hearts are insatiable b. Even without any reason, they wish to see the Buddha. What then can be said when they have good reasons? 3. Moreover, Samantarasmi's motivation for asking Ratnakara is unquestionable. It is not astonishing that the calf follows its mother. It is normal for King Lutz to come to greet the great king. Similarly, the great bodhisattvas who have derived such great benefits from the Buddha always wish to follow the Buddha. Thus, when the bodhisattva Samantara Omi sees these things, his attention is awakened. He says, This must be something very important. Seeing that the incalculable innumerable universes become visible one to another, he questions the Buddha. 4. Finally, some say. The Bodhisattva Samantarasmi knows the reasons for these miracles because he himself has miraculous power or because the Buddha Sakyamuni makes them known to him. If he asks the Buddha, it is intended only for the lesser Bodhisattvas who do not know. These lesser Bodhisattvas, out of fear of objections, do not dare to question the Buddha. This is why Samantarasmi asks for them. The Bodhisattva Samantarasmi guides the Ratnavati universe with its youths and maidens. 
therefore he knows that they cannot ask the Buddha. Just as when a big elephant uproots a big tree to allow the little elephants to eat its leaves, thus Samantarasmi questions the Buddha for the lesser bodhisattvas and asks him. Badantad, what are the causes and conditions for this great brilliance, for this great trembling of the earth, and for the appearance of the body of the Buddha? Sutra The Buddha Ratnakara answered Samantarasmi. O son of good family, in the West, beyond universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges, is the universe called Sopio, Saha. The Buddha named Sakyamuni is there who, at this time, is preaching the Prajnaparamitha to the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas. These marvels are caused by his miraculous power. Sastra Question The Buddha is like Mount Sumeru which cannot be moved by the waves of the Great Sea. Why does he reply here to Samantarasmi? That is a mark of agitation, for when the mind is concentrated, one does not talk. A certain agitation of the mind is necessary to talk. Preaching the Dharma comes from an arousal which in itself is a coarse thing. But the Buddha cannot have anything coarse. See answer. Minus 1. Deep in Samadhi, the Buddha is not disturbed by things of the world. Nevertheless, as a result of H.S. great loving kindness and great compassion, he has compassion for beings and preaches the Dharma for them to destroy their doubts. Like Sumeru, king of the mountains, unshaken by gentle winds but which trembles strongly when the Suilan winds blow. The Buddha, at the breath of the wind of his great loving kindness and great compassion, is moved by compassion and constantly enters into the five destinies in order to convert beings. To this effect he assumes the five kinds of existence, from the god realm to the animal realm. 2. Actually, even while he speaks, the Buddha is not disturbed and is always resting in samadhi. But as a result of his merits acquired in earlier existences, he utters sounds and answers in the manner of an echo. Like a heavenly musical instrument that emits sounds automatically. Like a precious stone that automatically gives people everything they desire in the way of clothing, food or music. The Buddha speaks automatically through all the pores of his body and preaches the Dharma according to the wishes of his listeners without any action, thought or conception on his part. Thus it is said in the Mtsi Kin Kong King, Kuyakvahrapana Sutra. There are three secrets in the Buddha. The body secret, the speech secret and the mind secret. Neither gods nor men can grasp them or understand them. A. The members of a given assembly see the body of the Buddha with its changing aspects. His color is yellow gold, silver white, or a mixture of precious colors. His size is one arm span and six feet, one li, ten li, a hundred li, a thousand li, ten thousand li or one hundred thousand li, sometimes even it is infinite, immense like space. Such is the secret of the body. B. Secret of the voice. They hear the voice of the Buddha at a distance of one li, ten, a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand li, or even at an incalculable immense distance like space. In a given assembly, some hear the Buddha preach on generosity, others on morality, others on exertion, dhyana, or wisdom. And so the twelve classes of sutra and the eighty thousand dharmaskandhas are heard according to the wishes of everyone. Such is the secret of speech. One day Maolin had this thought, I would like to know the range of the Buddha's voice. Then, by virtue of his base of